Hello my fellow scientists. Today I want to talk about something that happened to me oh, a few years ago when I lived in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas is a hotbed of allergens. West Texas has one kind of allergen. Uh, coastal Texas has another. Austin gets everything. And so I I'd never had allergies before, but I got them in Austin. But something really weird happened. Fighting the headache and what not that went with the nasty allergies, I took what I always take, I took an aspirin. Aspirin's always worked really well for me. And the weirdest thing happened, my left eye swelled shut. And so I, not realizing that this was through the aspirin, I went to the doctor and they were like, did you get stung by a bee on your face? I said, no, or they say, are you sure? I said, yeah, I'm pretty sure I would have noticed if a bee stung my eye. No, nothing like that, no idea. So the next time I had a headache and took an aspirin, this happened again, I put two and two together, and yeah, aspirin causes my left eye to shut, swell shut. Now it may not anymore, because I'm out of that environment. I don't particularly care to try it, uh, but I think it's interesting to know that one, this can happen, and two, this has been documented in the medical literature. So this week I was like, I wonder what that was all about. Went back and checked it out, and indeed, it turns out that this is this is not a common side effect, but it's a documented side effect. The way aspirin works is it interferes with cyclooxygenase one and two enzymes. Those enzymes are responsible for generating a bunch of interesting compounds, including one called uh, arachidonic acids, and, and one specifically is um, prostaglandin E2, which is sort of the main main one that I'm interested in for various reasons, but um, when they get interfered with, they produce less in, of this uh, this compound, prostaglandin E2 and others, and that inhibits inflammation, and a lot of times the headaches that you've got are due to some kind of inflammation, and this helps shut it down. They have other effects too, of course. They're well known for being good for blood pressure and uh, whatnot. So anyhow, the biochemistry of, of these compounds is really interesting, and you can really dig in deep. Uh, it's not totally clear what it is about the effects of aspirin that cause this reaction. It may be that it causes other pathways in the arachidonic acid synthesis. It may be that it causes uh, any number of downstream effects on the inflammation. It's probably not actually an allergic reaction per se. It's not so much that your uh, my immune system was biting the, the actual aspirin molecules. They're really too small for that, but it definitely screws with inflammation which is of course tightly related to, to uh, allergies. So that was weird. So while I was looking up all that, I ran across this other article in the BBC about another strange, unusual, but now medically documented side effect of statins. Statins are blood pressure medication. They're supposed to bring down cholesterol levels in the blood. And cholesterol is this wonderful little molecule. I mean we think about it in terms of a thing we eat and maybe something that's bad for us but it's really important for all kinds of things including synthesizing hormones and so it may not be totally surprising that interfering with the biology of these uh, molecules has effects on mood <laughs> it certainly surprised the doctors uh, who were talking to this patient he said i've been on this trial i feel terrible i feel angry i'm just my mood is out of control and they said that's him it's not it's got nothing to do with cholesterol you know go home you're fine stay on the trial and he said <laughs> probably because he was so belligerent and angry due to the drug he told them uh in no uncertain terms that he wasn't going to do that and that he was stopping right now and he did and his mood went back to normal so evidently for some people, rare as they may be, statins interfere a little bit with some of the biology, maybe, maybe the biology of uh, cholesterol, though not necessarily, maybe the biology of hormones, again, not necessarily, and the result is some changes in mood. So it's worth noting that uh, if you take statins, and lots of them, lots of people take statins, uh, they may, may have some impact on mood. Anyhow, uh, you know, biology is crazy, and... Uh, and it doesn't work the same for everybody, and it's, that's worth bearing in mind. Um, I think I've talked on this vlog before about the fact that uh, certainly blood sugar and food are treated as if everyone behaves like the average person, but in fact people don't. I think that there's a good now 
well-documented evidence that, that people are in fact quite individualistic. It may have something to do with one's individual genes, or it may have something to do with one's gastrointestinal tract and the flora and fauna that live there. So anyway, it's a complicated issue. I think it's really interesting. I've put a whole bunch of links down in the description. If you find that kind of thing interesting, please do tune in every week. We update on science and new papers, new research, and our own research occasionally right here in the Allen Lab.